Now we're going to continue with a few more things. We created the red one and the green one in the first part. If you have not looked at that, that's where you start off. Now I'm going to do one more view. We're going to do a bunch of views. And let's say now I want to lay out where in this green one I want to place a layout into that. So let's take another view and place it inside the green one. So now our hierarchy is the outer one, we have the red one up here, the green one, and inside the green one is the white one. I'm going to change the color of that just to make it clear. Let's make it blue. Now let's make a we have we want to make this layout that says I want a blue one that is a square centered in the green one. The green one has rules that says that it's going to be 30 pixels from the sides up here. And now so the green one is going to change in size and let's say I want the blue one. Right now it's 96 and 86 width and height. I want to say let's make it 70 pixels wide, 70 pixels height and I want it to be in the center of the green one. So then we're going to give it some rules. <clears throat> if we look at the pin, we can say, hey, let's make it uh, this many pixels from each side. But then as the green one scales, the blue one will scale. We don't want that. We want it to be 70 pixels width and height. So let's just set the rules with height. It's going to be 70 pixels width, 70 pixels height. All right. We have, now we're going to get some warning here that says basically, but you haven't told me where to put it. It just has a size, it doesn't have a placement. Then we have another icon, this one, a line with the bars. If we click that, we have a bunch of things, but we're just going to look at these ones. Horizontally in container, vertical in container, that says I want it aligned horizontally and vertically. I could just select one if I just want either um, scale, but now I want it centered both horizontally and vertical. Let's add these two constraints. Warning goes away. And let's look at different screen sizes. So let's look at a small one. The blue square is the same size. It keeps being 70 pixels because I told it to be. It's in the center of the green one even though the green one scales. Let's look at a big screen. And on the plus, the green one is way wider. Blue one keeps being in the center, 70 pixels. Let's look at a big iPad. We have to scale out the blue one in the center being 70 pixels, the way we want it. <clears throat> Note, when we put up rules for an element that is inside of something, like the blue one in the green one, we give it rules relative to its parent, so relative to the green one. If I were to put in yet another view, more views, 
Let's do a little smaller one here to the side. I want a this one. Let's give it some other color. Let's make it light gray. And let's say I want this to be just a little bit to the right of the blue one. Like this. I could say I want this to be here. It is with, let's make it 50 wide and equal height to that. So, and I want it to be some pixels away from the blue one. So if I want to make this layout, I say, let's make it, right now it's 16 pixels, let's keep it at 16 pixels from the blue one. Keep it there. Other than that, let's make it 50 wide, 70 height. Sure. With that said, I know where it is on, the, on this scale. It's to the right of the blue one. I know its size, but I haven't really told it about where it's gonna be is going to be in the top, in the bottom, in the center. I have not told it anything. But let's just add this. And then, and I get a warning. You have not told me where I'm going to be in this way. So let's give it, let's vertically align it. Warning goes away. We've given it rules. It's relative to other things here. On a small screen, bigger, 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 giant screen, it keeps scaling. And if I were to say this is some kind of uh, menu, this is some kind of header, let's say, and let's say I want an yet another view down here that is the rest down here that I'm going to use for some kind of content. Let's do another view and let's give it yet another color. Let's make it... I have some kind of orange here. I want it way down here. And I really want it to be the same distance away here. There's 30 pixels around here. So this one down here, I say, zero pixels down, zero pixels to the side. And I manually enter here 30 pixels up to the green one. Add constraints. I get a little warning that says your placement is not the same as the rules. And I can select. With this selected, I can say, hey, selected view, update your frames according to your rules. It moves. Warning goes away. And we got a layout that says this orange is 30 pixels down here and takes up the rest of the space, which is smaller on a uh, 4S, much bigger on a plus. Let's fold down. And on an iPad, it's massive, but it's still 30 pixels around. So in this way, you can make a layout that is, uh, takes different screen sizes into consideration with rules. This concludes the second part of this uh, layout tutorial.